He said, because that Grady Judd is ruthless. That is the greatest Christmas present I've received. Or will well, howdy, y'all. I'll get to you here. Uh, here's a follow-up to uh, the the video I put out, uh, put out yesterday. Uh, this is going to be a couple more parts, I think, because uh, the good sheriff did quite a bit of arresting and talking about it. So I'm trying to cut them down, like I say, as best as I can. But pretty much everything the man says is uh, salient to what's going on. So I don't like to cut out too, too much. But, you know, 30 minutes is a long time just to watch a video of people being scumbags of the earth. So anyway, here you all go. Hope y'all enjoy it. The shocking thing about it, to me, still is the overwhelming majority of these committed all this crime in the silence and hidden in their homes. But let's start with the least of the worst, and they're all bad. Robert Shanks, 47. He was a manager at Bed Bath & Beyond. He was very nonchalant very flippant. He says, I probably should be remorseful, but it's out there and I'm going to look at it. And you know what, Robert? We're going to put you in jail for it. Merry Christmas. He's in, bond, he's in jail based on $252,000 bond. Fortunately for us, in this case, unlike many, his wife made the statement, well, it's time for Robert to go. And that's what we're going to help you do, ma'am. We're going to see that he goes to prison. He looked at children as young as two years of age. Then there's Clifford Rogers, who's 40. He was employed as a service technician for Payne Air Conditioning in Lakeland. Now, Payne is a very professional company. I know the owner. I do business with Payne Air Conditioning. The thought that this guy might have been to my house frightens me but he won't be going to anyone's house in the future. He took a tablet to work so he could watch videos at work, but he wouldn't admit that he was watching child porn while he was at work. We also char charged him with possession of cannabis that he had in the work truck. You know, it's important to understand that his bond is a million dollars. So let me say to the owner of Payne Air Conditioner and my friend, he ain't coming back anytime soon. And I hope he never comes back because he never needs to be in a, another person's house. Eugene Skaggs, he's 28 from Polk City. When we arrived, he thought it was because of his chickens and he lived in the city limit of, like, of Polk City. No, we're not there to enforce the chicken rules, but we are there to enforce rules upon Grinches. So, when we arrested him, we found out that he worked at Watson Clinic in special billing. He also had a website called The Crazy Hemp Guy. He didn't have one that said The Crazy Child Pornographer, but he had The Crazy Hemp Guy. He said his interest in child pornography started after watching the Epstein documentary. He focused on children between 12 months and 24 months in age, we charged him with 15 counts of child porn, possession of cannabis, possession of paraphernalia. He's married. He's got a $166,000 bond. Then we have Joaquin Trejo. He's 44. He's here illegally from Mexico. He focused on children who were three to six months in age. He had photographs and videos of these babies being sexually battered. Now, we had to send a truck to arrest him. He weighs in at a slim 520 pounds, and he didn't fit in the cars. But he does fit in the county jail, and we will feed him well. 83 counts of child porn, a $415,000 bail, and we also have a hold on him for immigration officials. Then we have Michael Tatishi. He's 47. He's an Uber driver, lives in Lakeland. He's a 20-year retired Air Force veteran. He was a battlefield camera operator. 
He retired as an E-7 Master Sergeant. And now he's locked up in the county jail where he should be. He had several devices, and we're still looking through his various devices, as we are with many of these other arrests. So we could be adding on charges later on. He looked at the average a child five to seven years of age. Sometimes he would look as young as two. He was beginning a grow house, so we had him some marijuana. We charged him with that. We charged him with cultivation. Oh, and he had some cocaine, and he had 450 counts of child pornography. His bond's about two and a half million dollars. Kevin Scott Woods, he's 39. He's single, he lives in Polk City. He gets federal assistance, about $1,450 a month, he said. So he sits at home while you work, pay taxes, give him federal assistance for him to indulge in child pornography. He's charged with 35 counts. His focus was children six to eight years of old, six to eight years of age. He's, his bond is 350,000. He confessed after we found the images. And we go, why didn't you confess right up front? He said, well, I thought maybe you wouldn't find them. I had them hidden. And if you didn't find them, there's no need for me to confess. But then he threatened to eat people's face off or stab someone while he was in the jail. Nice guy. Don't you want a room with him? We put the detention staff on notice of his bizarre statements. And then there's Henry Dunn. He's the shop man manager for Counter Effects by Roger. One year ago, we served a search warrant on him but we couldn't get into his phone. We highly suspected at that time he had child porn. He wouldn't let us into his phone. We couldn't crack the phone. So guess what? Our detectives don't forget. A year later, we show back up with another search warrant and we catch him with his phone open. And when we arrest him, his wife said, didn't you guys learn your lesson the last time by bothering us? And we go, I guess we're slow learners. We're back, and we got his phone, and it's got pornography on it. Forty counts of child porn. That's right. That's what he's charged with. But here's what's frightening about this guy. He sent and received text, and his fantasy was sexually explicit memes that talked about daddy and daughters doing terrible things and how he fantasized about that. Now, we saw no evidence of that conduct occurring, but he was fantasizing and talking about it. We know that statistically, one research sh shows us that the overwhelming majority, I think it's close to 80% of these people that possess child porn either have had sexual conduct or contact with children or would have given the opportunity. So he was one step away. So he was charged with promotion as well as 40 counts of child porn. And we also found cannabis and at his house. His bond was $616,000. Some people never learn. Just think you think it. you'd learn a lesson. But understand, these folks are so fixated on the sexual abuse of children, they throw caution to the wind. Then there's Eddie Zumetta. He's a lifeguard at Shades of Green, which is a large hotel on the Disney property. He is not a Disney employee. He's employed by the Department of Army as a lifeguard. That's right. He works for the Department of Army as a lifeguard. He had images of children about four years of age. We charged him with 20 counts of possession of child porn. He's still under investigation. He has a $115,000 bond and he's married. And then we have Mr. Silas Harris. 
He works at Walmart. He's a night stock clerk. He's also an assistant coach in the Little League football of little boys 8 to 10 years of age called the Lakeland Destroyers. He talks about one day having daughters and then having children with those daughters. And that's what he fantasizes about. Now, he has no children. When we talk to him about this, he said he didn't want to talk about his child porn. And they go, well, why not? He said, because that Grady Judd is ruthless. That is the greatest Christmas present I've received or will receive this year for the child pornographers to recognize that I'm ruthless. No, I'm only the ruthless coach. My great detectives are the ones that are ruthless toward those that they can arrest for child pornography. Well, there you go, my friends. Another fine collection of good people from Florida. Now, of course, you all know that there's not a real good cross-section of the population. But, you know, they're everywhere. We get some here, too. So, anyways, um, you all feel free to click that like button right now. If you would be so kind if you liked the video. And don't forget to subscribe because I got more pieces coming out. And don't be afraid of going back and checking out some of my other videos if you haven't seen them. I think you might be just as entertained with them as you are with this one. And there's some links right there. So anyways, you all have a blessed day. You take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And we'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.